Can you move? I'm trying to show everyone my eyes. And now everyone can see your nose. <laughs> Ew! Oh my god. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Uh, can bye. See my eyes. <laughs> no. Okay, stop. Come on. Bye bye. And you need to see my. Okay, that's great. Nobody wants to see <laughs> your freaking nose hair or whatever is in your freaking nose. Probably boogers. <laughs> All right. So, I know I made a video the other day, a couple days ago, saying, you know, I haven't, you know, I haven't wanted to talk about anything psychic. I don't know. I still kind of don't. Okay, so this is what I want to, I, what I mean by that is like, I don't want to like, I don't want to like deep dive into anything too intensely because, um, you know, I've just, it, it does, it affects me and I've been lately in a really good, just in a really good energy. Um, so I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to not ruin it but I don't know anyways um uh, oh my <laughs> you see that giant blanket back there my daughter built a blanket fort um so I wanted to I didn't I haven't concentrated on this really at all um I just want to I just want to kind of share for a second what I picked up on it real quick. Um, so they finally identified um, that poor child um, that was found, I believe, in like, I think it was like in the, in the 50s, back in the 50s. Um, the poor boy that was found on the side of the road in a box, they call it, you know, it was always that case has always been known as the boy in the box. Um, but they identified him recently as, I believe his name um, was Joseph. Joseph, I forget the middle name and the last name was Vercelli, I think, or something like that. Um, Italian sounding. Um, but, so something that flashed in my head um, when I, you know, I never, I've never tried to concentrate on that. Um, I've heard, you know, I've heard about it throughout the years and stuff, but, um, when I do kind of try and kind of concentrate on it, the first thing I see a flash of a woman, I see a man and a woman probably his parents but I see them I see a woman okay standing outside by a car old car and I see her waving um like waving to like a neighbor um and when I kind of try and focus on that the energy makes me feel like that it was like fake um this woman not fake, but like there was a, like the energy when I concentrate on that image, because I keep seeing it, is like I'm hiding something, you know, like waving to her neighbors, hi, you know, um, and I feel like, okay, when I try and concentrate too, when I try and focus on that child, I get that, okay, this is going to sound bizarre, but I feel like that child was not, how do I describe this? Okay, I feel like that child was not, there was not really a actual spirit or an actual soul in this child's body, okay? And like it was just it was empty okay <laughs> again i okay i know this is gonna sound bizarre but this is just what i'm feeling 
energetically when I try and concentrate on it. And I don't want to focus on it too hard because, again, I'm trying to really stay grounded in my own energy and kind of lift my own energy up um, to get out of kind of like my own stuff, okay? But like this, right? I And I see an image of a girl, an older girl, a child, um, maybe around 10, um, 9 or 10, an older little girl. But I see this, okay, this boy, right? This child was how we, right, what we would call on earth, what we do call here, uh, mentally, um, disabled, okay? Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Um, very mentally handicapped, mentally disabled. And when I focus on this child's energy, there is nothing, there's nothing there, okay? Um, and I mean that in terms too of, there was literally no, I feel like it was like an empty body Okay, sorry, again, this is probably gonna sound bizarre. Um, and, right, I know, uh, okay, how can I describe this? <laughs> how can I describe this? Right, some people that are here, right, when they are mentally disabled or handicapped in some sort of way, like, like that, okay, um, can't speak, can't function um, without help. I, I believe that, okay, some people, yes. This was just bizarre. This is what I pick up. Yeah, some people, yes, they do have a soul, right? A spirit. But I feel like this particular child did not even have that. Like, it was an empty, there was nothing in there, okay? There was no, I don't feel like there was a spirit or a soul attached to this body that this woman gave birth to, okay? And it, in turn, like being here on earth, we Mom, viewed that Mom, yeah, child yeah. as um, mentally disabled, okay? Um, do you want your kinder egg instead? <laughs> it's on the counter. Um, I don't know if that's going to make sense. Like, I do feel, right, people that are disabled like that mentally, right? They, yes, they do have a soul. They do have a spirit, okay? But I feel like with this child, there was nothing there, okay? There, okay, and there was no spirit or actual, like, right, like, like yourself, right? Or me. I am, there is, yes, my physical body, right? But inside of me, there is a soul, a spirit. I don't even feel like this child even had that, okay? And it made it even more. It made this body, this child's, okay? It made this him even more mentally and physically disabled. Like there was nothing in internally spiritually in this body okay and anyways if that makes sense i feel like i'm just repeating myself but it's, it's so hard to describe how, how i'm explaining that um and these parents i keep seeing the a flash of a woman and i keep seeing her wave right i feel like when this especially with the mother hid i feel like nobody knew that this woman even had a child like i feel like there was i see an older an older girl but there was no right because i keep seeing an image of her waving to her neighbors and the energy around that is they like nobody knew around these people that there was even a a child a young child a boy that nobody even knew that she had a child, another child. And the energy around it is making me feel that because the handicap was so severe, mentally, physically, um, 
that they hid this child like it was like a it was so severe it was like they didn't want this mother especially did not want anyone to know and i feel like right from right from the time when this person this woman gave birth she knew instantly something was wrong and she instantly from the time this child was born hit it away like there was no nobody knew okay and i feel like the energy around this woman even when she was pregnant she she knew something was was wrong and i feel like she didn't even tell people that she was pregnant i feel like right the husband knew the parent the whoever the man is the father to the to this child um and i feel but i feel like the older child she didn't even know that the mother was pregnant but then all of a sudden the mother came home with this baby but then it was kind of like it just i feel like the energy around that older child was like oh i saw this child but then it was never spoke of again or it was never like yeah it the child was in the house but it was kept away from everything and everybody and nobody knew nobody i feel this strongly and i keep seeing an image of this woman waving to her neighbor and again the energy around that is making me feel um like nobody knew this child didn't leave that house nobody had any idea there nobody 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 knew that there was a young child in that house and i feel right because again when i try and kind of pick up the energy of that boy there is no there is no energy right there is but not in a sense of there wasn't even uh, there was no attachment to that body itself there was nothing there and in a way it's like it this is gonna sound very strange okay but okay this because of that right this because there was actually no again i don't you know if you if you think this sounds bizarre sorry if you don't agree with me that's fine there was no attachment spiritually to a soul right a soul to this child there was nothing in there okay and that made it to where this child this body right there they weren't even aware that what was going on to them because there was nothing in there okay so the in terms of like being hidden and being isolated right never i i don't feel like this child ever went never saw daylight they were kept in this house it was a embarrassment it was something that they did not know how to deal with and they just wanted they did it's like an appearance right they didn't want some people to know that they had this severely mentally disabled physically disabled child um and but for me energetically and spiritually i can pick up that this child was not there was no person in this body okay so in terms of like any abuse that happened and in terms of being hidden it's like th there was no one in there to experience that okay and i know that sounds nutty okay but this is what i feel and this is what i'm picking up um and I feel, and the mother was aware, yes, how we view it on earth as being mentally disabled, handicapped. She knew something was just different. And no, that's like, don't, don't twist my words around and think that I'm making an excuse. There's no excuse for what happened to this child. Um, but I feel like, 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 right, there was no connection on her part because in a way it's like she could feel that there wasn't wasn't even anything 
in this body, right? there. Yes, I'm looking at, right? She's looking at this child who obviously has horrible problem, like, you know, mentally not there. But in turn, right? As in terms of like energetically, she could feel it too. Like it, it was just empty, okay? And that's, I feel too, why it was so easy. Again, and this is disgusting. No, I'm not you know, I don't care what, how you feel toward like that is still a, a, someone you gave birth to a, in this case, to me, it makes me feel like it was just a body. Okay. And, but it's still, you know, that there's no excuse for how this family or this mother, especially handled the whole thing. Okay. And I feel like though that was made it easier for this woman to discard this poor child like a piece of trash on the side of the road, okay? And nobody could figure it out for all these years because back then when this child was alive, nobody had any idea. I feel like not even, she didn't even tell family members. Nobody knew and around like, right, your neighbors, Nobody saw this child. Nobody knew that there was a child in that, uh, at that age and a boy, a little boy in that house. Okay. I see an older, again, I see an older little girl and I feel like at her age, even it, it's confusing. Right. And as she grew up, it's just like out of sight, out of mind. It was like, yeah, sometimes she saw this kid or this child, but it was like the mother always pushed her away. Like it, it was nothing, something that was not talked about The she was kept away from this boy. And as it's like, I feel like as, okay, like she saw him from time to time here and there, but it was never explained to her, to this other little girl in the house, who this was, why he was there. It was just, no, you know, go, um, and as she grew older, you know, she didn't, I feel like, see this child anymore. And that was that. She didn't, she, I feel like this girl, this one, you know, obviously an old, she's an older woman now. She, it's like, there's no connection. Like, she has, and I don't know in terms now since they identified him, but I feel like, after all these years, right, she has, there was no, she didn't know, okay, that's how good that this weirdo mother hid this, plus being a young child, you just don't, you don't think like that, but anyways, that's what I feel, I don't want to, uh, that's, you know, I don't want to, that's what I feel energetically, um, Again, it's awful. It's horrible. Um, you know, it's it was still... Okay, if you just get rid of what I just said about, like, this child, right? Not having a spirit, a soul. It was empty, okay? That's what I feel energetically, okay? But here on Earth, right? It was still a child. It was still someone okay and I know it it's so hard to explain I, I'm again um sorry if that seems I'm not trying to be disrespectful or you know I obviously don't you know the asshole mother should have you know been an adult and handled it properly you know sought out help maybe put I don't know if this child, if she couldn't handle it. I feel like it was an, an embarrassment and she did not want anyone knowing. Um, and nobody did know. Um, except this child's father. Because I do see a man, but I feel like it's more so in the background. Like he was a background. Um, like just didn't say anything either. Like went along with it. Which is, you know, disgusting and... Um, you know, a bunch of disgusting people. Um, 
anyways, that's what I feel. That's what I pick up. Um, in a way, this is going to sound, I don't want to sound like, it's like in a way it was good that this child was not aware and not aware because there was no spirit attached to this body. Okay. So any type of abuse or just the neglect that this child experienced, um, it was not felt in the way that a child in a body that is actually aware and has a soul attached, right? They would feel the neglect and the abuse. You would feel it in a different way. Like I, I truly, I can, I can feel that. Okay. I can't connect with any type of spirit or any type of energy to that little boy. Right. Because there was nothing there. There was not. Okay. So it was good in a way because that child did not experience how like me, or, you know, someone else would experience abuse or neglect that actually has an actual spirit in them. Okay. You are aware. Okay. I, I get that. Again, this child was not aware because there was nothing in there. Okay. It was an empty, like an, it was like an empty vessel. Okay. Um, and we viewed that, right. The parents view, viewed that as being very mentally, um, handicapped and it was an embarrassment. Um, but so yes, it's, it's disgusting. It's horrible. It's awful. That poor child was discarded like a, again, like a piece of trash. But I feel there was nothing in there. There, okay. It, it, anyways, I'm just repeating myself. But I hopefully I can. I, hopefully I explain that good enough. Um, that's what I feel. Um, that's what I can pick up. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna stop. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just, I was going to talk about something else, but maybe I'll talk about that later, but I'm going to go, Hi. Okay, I'm going to go, um, again, I don't, again, if, if you, I hope I didn't offend anyone. I'm not saying that that's just what I pick up energetically. Okay. I am not saying that what happened to that child, it's not right. It's not right. And Whoever this woman is, I hope that they can, I don't know if they'll be able to prove because it's been so long, you know, I don't, I, she should be in fucking jail. Um, and so should the father. Um, so like, that's just what I'm picking up energetically and spiritually. Okay. That's what I feel. And that's why I can kind of see, right. What I talked about, what I said of the woman waving, um, so I'm not trying to be disrespectful in terms of saying, oh, there was no spirit or soul in that body, but there wasn't. Okay. That's what I feel. Um, I can strongly feel it. Um, so, but I don't mean that there is no excuse for, um, what happened to that poor, poor, uh, child. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go, um, uh -huh. yeah. Bye, Stop. Bye, Come on, please. Hey, excuse me.